Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of How to Do Drugs. I am your host, Aliyah Janine, and today I have Vincent Martella with me. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey, I'm great. How are you doing? Thanks I'm for, good. Uh, for having me. Yes, you're all the way out in LA. How is wonderful LA these days? I'm actually in Las Vegas, mm. um, so I'm not quite in Los Angeles. I yeah. imagine LA is great. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, in middle, I'm in the middle of the desert. My uh, Some of my family lives here, so I'm visiting them. Um, but it's good. It's warm here. It's, uh, it's honestly, desert. it's warm, apparently warmer in New York today, but yeah, no, we had a whopping 81 degrees in March. I still think, I still feel like it may snow one more time. Cause I'm originally from Wisconsin and I just don't trust the weather when it gets like too warm, too fast. I'm like, I don't believe you. Yeah. As you should <laughs> being from Wisconsin. I mean, it snows yeah. like nine months out of the year there. So yeah. And in January it could be 80 degrees and then have tornadoes. Yes. It's very fickled. <laughs> Let's go that's the trade-off for cheese curds apparently so and beer and beer you can't forget the beer and and, beer. and serial killers we got a few of those um we got cannibal ones too if you're into that if you want to research that that's always fun <laughs> <laughs> all the best things just truly oh. all the exciting things <laughs> yeah who doesn't love cheese curds beer and true crime stories or everyone's favorite yeah that's the perfect combination for a Saturday afternoon I feel like yeah <laughs> um okay so for this fun episode everybody um we're gonna change up the format a little bit and we're not going to be talking about personal drug experiences or um anything like that we are going to talk about cartoons and this is a segment called how high were they <laughs> and we are going to discuss different cartoons from the 80s and 90s that we well, I believe that the 80s ones, you know, these ones were on these specific drugs, possibly we don't know. I mean, they're also cartoons, so they can't technically really do drugs. But <laughs> nor can they dispute our analysis, though, most and importantly, and most importantly, they cannot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I like I like how you worded that. That was good. All right. So let's get started. So one of my favorite cartoons growing up now, I think I'm like, I'm older than you. Uh, <laughs> I'm, like, I, I'm like, so my cartoons are way different than your cartoons. <laughs> um, so I grew up with like the original um, Scooby-Doo cartoons. Are you familiar yeah. with the Scooby-Doo? Like they even had like Scrappy-Doo. I remember that little fucker. He was great. Yeah. Was and they had a laugh track, which I feel like I forgot about until I watched it again as an adult. I was like, oh my God, there was a laugh track the whole time. <laughs> I, don't remember this cartoon. <laughs> I don't remember that. I know that they like, they changed it up a bunch. I think they may still have a Scooby-Doo um, cartoon, if I'm not mistaken, but it's just all like new. So I'm like, eh. I yeah. like the older ones. So uh, this cartoon has always been um, very interesting because it has a weird group of people together and they drive around in this van. <laughs> it's very colorful and it looks like something straight out of like the 60s, some like little hippie love mobile kind of thing with the green. I actually have Holy shit, I forgot. The mystery machine. I have the mystery yeah. machine right here. I used to work at a company that sold toy cars. So I caught a couple. <laughs> I forgot I had that. Yeah, so the mystery machine. So Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo loved Scooby snacks. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, the, the, these are pretty, I feel like Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are like the two that make the most, they're doing edibles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're eating cookies all day. <laughs> Constantly hungry. And they're seeing like the, what they, you know, I guess they're actually people dressed up, but I mean. Mm -hmm. Well, they're super scared. paranoid. They're always they're, very paranoid. They're the two most scared. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they, they busted and they're like, oh, it's not real ghosts. It's a person. They still believe that there's actually ghosts. Yeah. Where the other three are like, no. Nah. There's got to be like a legitimate explanation. Yeah, about this. Especially yeah. like Valerie. You know, Valerie was always really good with that. Velma. Velma. No, Valerie was um, the Flintstones, wasn't it? Wasn't it Valerie and the Flintstones? Who was Valerie? We have Wilma. Oh, shit. Um, fuck, where the fuck did I get Valerie from? <laughs> It was Wilma, though. No, you're right. Um, fuck. And I'm Velma's cool. always like, my glasses, I can't see without them. Yeah, She's and I'm like, always I like... Try to find them. Oh, no. I re yeah, no, I remember who she is. Obviously, this is what happens when you smoke a lot of pot and you forget... <laughs> you forget character? all the characters from Scooby-Doo. I'm like, I remember the two that ate edibles, though. Yeah. 
And every so often the Harlem Globetrotters would show up. Oh my God, those were the best episodes. Yeah. They'd be like, hey, the Harlem Globetrotters are here to help us solve a crime. (laughs) Didn't they have, um, didn't they have like Gilligan's Island? Like they would have special guests like that on that cartoon, which is always fun. All right. Now this one may be kind of an obscure cartoon. I'm not sure if you ever saw this or heard of it. Mighty Mouse? Uh, Yeah, I have heard of Mighty Mouse. I didn't watch much. Mighty Mouse, like I yeah. can't name any other character in Mighty Mouse. I mean, you couldn't name any other characters in Scooby Doo, so I'm not really worried about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but all I all I know of Mighty Mouse is Mighty Mouse. Was that yeah. the best character, or was there yeah? That I mean, I just memorable? well, I just remember him. Like I was looking up a couple articles, and I'll um I'll post them so everyone can have the the link. Cause like I watched these cartoons and I remember very specifically, like I remember like the Care Bears and like Gem and uh, strawberry shortcake yeah. like yeah Jem was great but then um yeah so I read this article and it pointed out different things I was like oh yeah I do remember that <laughs> so Mighty Mouse he used to go because like they have a lot like he's a superhero or whatever but he used to go and hide and then snort some powder and then he would become Mighty Mouse. He'd become Super Mighty Mouse. What? That's how it would happen? <laughs> he, was, well, it's not, he was always Mighty Mouse. But yeah, sometimes he would take this powder and then he'd just get like extra strong. It was like like um, Super Mario Brothers with the mushroom. They just get really big. and Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. I, I love how they didn't even try to hide that explanation. They were like, yeah, every so often he just like run off or yeah. something and becomes super strong I yeah yeah well, well it was it was like a magical powder like it was always something magical or mystical it was never he's doing okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my house is snoring angel dust <laughs> <laughs> i mean it could be it could be cocaine or it could be because he was really strong for a mouse it could be pcp it could be pcp that's kind of what i was thinking because that makes yeah. you super strong right like that's the that's what everyone's yeah. always worried about yeah maybe like spinach for popeye was PCP as well. That's he, right. Yeah, that guy never seemed. That guy. I see. I didn't watch a lot of Popeye, but mm-hmm. like, I feel like my parents did. And whenever I'd see, I was, I was like, Popeye kind of creeps me out. Like, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> His arms and stuff. His like I, weird freakish forearms it was never right to me. No, and he was skinny everywhere else. I used to still get called olive oil to this day. Um, it's fine. I don't have a complex about him. <laughs> It's fine, all. but I wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Every night. Olive oil. <laughs> yeah, screaming about olive oil. <laughs> um, so yeah, so maybe Mighty Mouse was on PCP, I think. That's what I'm going with for sure. Yeah, PCP. All right, Mighty Mouse, PCP. Oh, well, speaking of um of Popeye, do you remember Wimpy from Popeye? He was the guy who um was always asking for a dollar to get hamburgers. Oh my God, I do remember this guy. Yeah, I he was at first, but. Yeah, he was the guy who always, can I have a dollar for a hamburger? Like he was always asking for hamburger. <laughs> yeah, so they definitely weren't hamburger. <laughs> no, 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 I think, I think, because food addiction is actually, I guess, like. We can count that. That works within the realm of the body. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, and as all his friends are enabling him and stuff like that, because he always has a big plate of hamburgers and he always wants more hamburgers and not cheeseburgers and he was like a skinny guy too right like yeah he he wasn't well he was like he had a belly but he wasn't like over there's a big guy on popeye too like the bad guy i don't know bluto i think that was bluto okay bluto because that guy's huge yeah 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 way bigger than popeye way bigger but because popeye ate spinach it made him stronger yeah he was fit yeah (laughs) like he got extra strong and it never lasted long either yeah really quick drug that spinach honestly though it kind of like it makes no sense if you like you've ever tried to cook spinach yeah very fast so yeah you get that really really big thing of spinach and then it's like and it's just and it's just one little thing i hated spinach growing up i think it was because of popeye too like and now i eat it all the time like it's great I eat, I feel like I eat kale more than I eat spinach, I think. Okay. But <laughs> I'm not a kale person. <laughs> but yeah, it's so like a different texture. It does. It completely does. But I feel like they're comparable in like nutrients. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're not. Or maybe they have more. I think kale actually has more than spinach or whatever. I think okay. people just like to do it because um, someone made it cool 
and now we're like i eat kale and before people are like kale is trash <laughs> yeah and honestly if that makes enough sense is that like with time <laughs> enough people who I admired were eating it <laughs> yeah I'd be like I'm gonna try that kale it's disgusting but I'm gonna eat it all but I'm gonna have it anyways because <laughs> it's good for you fiber all right um yeah so wimpy definitely food addict um and Popeye I what, what would we call like that's another like PCP kind of thing because it didn't last long because we can't I guess we uh, uh I guess people aren't addicted to doing like hgh yeah steroids like that those are drugs mm -hmm. and i don't know if those count yeah no 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 no. they totally count i would think but yeah not um yeah they don't like get you high they just um <laughs> they yeah they just yeah ways. but i mean popeye's not alone there's secretly i feel like i don't know which ones they are but i've always heard that there are a lot of actors who are doing a lot of like hgh and steroids to play certain roles because they have to like get in shape so fast. Yeah, and like bulk up or and whatever. They have to bulk up, but I'm always so curious like which ones they are because like oh, always, we like, could go over like, that list. Should we go over that list? Yeah, <laughs> until, we, until we find out who it is. Yeah, because like all, all those people who book those roles end up like on the cover of like you know women's, men's health men's or whatever. Fitness, yeah, and, and they're like how I got how I looked like Captain America in six weeks, and so like it's so interesting because like. One of these people, like out of all of them, there has to be like one or two yeah. who's, who's just lying, just straight yeah. up being like, I did, like, I totally did this with the help of trainers and like a ton of medication. Yeah. <laughs> or they just like, they do a lot of Photoshopping as well yeah. for a lot of those covers. And I learned how to like make abs, like with shadows, you know, <laughs> with bronzers and stuff. I'm going to have to, all right, I'm going to talk to you about that later. I'm going to have to get on that before summer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> shading and stuff like that it's like why i have a chin you'll just have abs like it's just have abs. cool awesome. yeah <laughs> yeah maybe um maybe steroids with um with popeye all right here's another one um that was kind of fun uh do you remember underdog have you ever heard of underdog i have heard of underdog um i want to say they made like a remake of this when i was a kid mm -hmm. and i remember really not liking it it was like <laughs> It was like live action though. Like I don't think it was a cartoon. I think it was like a live action like Oh, okay. like dog. Power Rangers, how they did that with the Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad. Um this is tough though, because he didn't he didn't go snort some Mighty Mouse powder, did he? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. But it was another similar situation where he would run off and then all of a sudden be super strong. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like go in a phone booth or anything there was no like you oh, never yeah yeah, yeah no no no. there was definitely i think um i think underdog has definitely been if i remember correctly he's done like gone changed in a phone booth but yeah i think um was it a powder or like a needle like a super um, serum yeah yeah another potion another potion they, another potion magical potion that yeah. like yeah but the, with underdog it was speed it was definitely like maybe shooting up <laughs> that really jacks you up yeah, what, 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 what a great sentence <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Like that underdog definitely on speed <laughs> yeah no he was definitely i think definitely on um on speed because he would run around he was another yeah they they would be super strong and run around for a little while like take care of whatever the bad guys were and then they would like slowly come down to being normal he couldn't talk though right or could he talk could underdog talk yeah, no, underdog talk. They all talk, underdog if talk. I remember. Correctly. I knew Mighty Mouse talked. Yeah, Mighty Mouse definitely talked. Yeah, underdog. a little too much for his own good. You know, it's always <laughs> that little thing, you know. <laughs> okay, now this is, I remember um, this being one of my all-time favorite um, cartoons. Um, and I actually had, I remember my room was dressed up with them. I had a couple of the stuffed animals, the Care Bears. The Care Bears, yeah. The Care Bear stare. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a favorite Care Bear? Did you have one that you were like, this is the one? Um, well, I loved like the sleepy time one, the blue one. And blue one, uh, I remember the blue one. Yep, and then um, and then the good luck one, the green one, because those are my favorite colors. So the blue and the green. Okay. And, and then I also like um, I forgot the the pink one, the main one that had like the full on rainbow. I forgot that one's name. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't any know that name. name. I feel like they. I feel like Care Bears stuck around through the 90s too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, they Care Bears, do. I think Care Bears are still like, probably even around today. I, I would wouldn't assume. doubt it. I mean, they always had a really good message. You know, they were always trying to like 
share happiness with their bellies and stuff like that. But, they, but, um, they, you know, acid, I think. <laughs> so I think if we're getting that. the bottom of this mystery, <laughs> acid. all those bears were doing it. And which is funny. Cause like, I've said this before, but in the article, it said they look like walking tabs of acid. I'm like, dude, that's what I've said about them. <laughs> you know? Cause like a lot of times, like, especially if it's on blotter paper, like sometimes they'll have like little designs and stuff. They'll have Love a little for yeah, a little four leaf clover or something. <laughs> like, do people like, is that a, is that a thing that like disappeared after the sixties where like, they used to like drop it on like sugar cubes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. With the liquid stuff. Oh no, I don't, I do a bunch of acid. I got some in my fridge right now. <laughs> okay. Well, so I was like, but do, do people do it that way anymore? Or do people just do the tabs of it? Oh no. Well now, um, like the Care, Bear, have, the Care Bear tabs of the it. Care Bear tabs. That you, that you definitely have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't, um, I haven't done like eating blotter paper in forever. My friend actually, he makes them in candy. So like, to, like airheads or something like that, or um, <clears throat> whatever kind of, yeah. But he, he wraps them up like, like Tootsie Rolls. And okay. so, so he has liquid. And so he put it in these candies and they were real fun over the summer. Let me tell you, <laughs> <laughs> they were fantastic. Yeah. I actually found one hiding in my couch. I was like, what? I found another one, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but you could do it on, like, I've seen people still do it on like sugar cubes, especially if they have the liquid stuff, because like blotter paper, you actually have to get from like a science, like surplus store or something um if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure you'd be like can i get some blotter paper you know they're not like rolling <laughs> papers <laughs> i think really funny. i think it's meant for like you know scientists biology people i guess so i guess i never pieced that part of it together that that mm -hmm. was like a specific the blotter paper specifically was like a scientific thing that's used for something else yeah well because not... i think of the way that like it absorbs it so that way like once it's on that paper it's not going to like really leak onto anything else if that makes sense but like if you have a full like blotter paper in your pocket and you're sweating yeah no you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna trip <laughs> but i think it's the type of paper that like kind of keeps it mostly on paper that's my scientific hypothesis interesting see um, educational podcast well. it really is no um <laughs> i really try to keep it you know edu kind of educational. i mean you can learn a lot like i am never partying with that woman <laughs> <laughs> the most the most important thing to take away from this <laughs> yeah to be like she's crazy and she has acid. oh and he also gave me some candies that are acid and mushrooms whoa yeah I'll have to try those out later. Uh, <laughs> You're like, that's not a summer snack. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been saving those. <laughs> I've been saving those. He's like, you, you just try these out for me. I'm like his acid guinea pig because I've like, I've been. <laughs> have you tried this? I don't know what it's going to feel like. I don't know what yeah, it's he's, like, he's like, is this too much? Well, because I like that has always been like my drug of choice because it's like cheap and it's non addictive and lasts forever. And like, you, it's fun. <laughs> it's super fun. So I'm like, yeah, I'll do the acid. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. <laughs> uh, moving on. Now, this is another one that I really liked growing up. And I know that they made a movie into it. And I was very unhappy about that. Um, he Man. Remember He Man? Yeah, that's right. They're making a movie of, of, of it right now, right? No, another one? Yeah, they're making like a live action movie of it. Oh, they had one. It was in the 90s and it was unpleasant. It was <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah no, they... no, I, I've seen a good deal of He Man. Yeah, because that one it was cool. Power of Grace. Oh. Yeah, and he shoots the sword and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and but he Skeletor. Skeletor. Oh, I love Skeletor. He's a badass. And then you have um, I forgot the cat's name. Like I forget the, the cat's the, name too. The green, but he was green. Yeah, he was like green and yellow. I think. Yeah, yeah, he was a cool looking thing. But He Man was another guy that would run off. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had his big <laughs> sword. And yeah, I think it. what we're figuring out is a lot of 80s cartoons bit was lead character runs off, does something mm -hmm. that we don't get to see, comes back completely different. Yeah, super powerful. Yeah, Horribly so changed. <laughs> it's just like, where did our friend go? He'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, like, like, well, he man and Skeletor are doing something different because they, because Skeletor my man looks like he's been doing like math for like 20 years. I think, yeah, no, he's, he's still doing it to this day. As to far as day, I know. Yeah, yeah definitely. Solid 40 years. 
Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he's, he's a lifer. Yeah. But, but he would go back and you think about it, he had the sword and he's like, the power of Greystall. If you think about it, that could be a needle. That could be. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, <laughs> that could be the key man's needle. Uh, no, it could. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden he becomes all powerful and he would do this like a couple of times, you know, he would run back and forth. So yeah, no, he was a speed. He, I was he, about to say, that's got to be speed then, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> speed. Now is, now is that still a thing anymore though? Like, cause if people are doing speed, they're like pretty much doing like Adderall now. So like, is anyone taking like injections of speed? Like people used to do in like the six years or seventies, like are people still getting like a shot in the ass? I mean, like, I never, I'm gonna be awake for three days. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I um, like, I've never shot up. That's one thing. I was just like, Ew, needles. Um, get a tattoo before that. I've never, um, besides like, this sounds horrible, but like before my father, I've never seen anyone actually really shoot up, like speed or yeah, yeah, or heroin, and definitely not. Like, if any of my people that I know are doing it, they're very good at hiding it. <laughs> well, no, okay. I, I mean it, it, it like going through like college even like mm-hmm. I, I wasn't in college that uh that long uh sorry parents but uh <laughs> but Adderall is so popular with students mm-hmm. and I always remember like because I've, I've never tried Adderall but I I know so many people have done it and so many people who you talk to and they don't realize what it is mm-hmm yeah, no, it's it's legal, legal speed, basically. Yeah, it's just like, oh, well, that's like literally speed. You're doing like amphetamines. Like, you're, you're, yeah, you're, but like, but it's legal and your doctor gave it to you. Like, because I, I recently found out that I have ADHD and like I've taken it, you know, recreational before just to try it. Yeah. My, friend, my friend's like, it's kind of like cocaine, but you don't have the urge to do another line. And I'm like, that sounds amazing. Let's try it. <laughs> and I'm like, that sounds cool. Like, well, that sounds like the best scientific achievement I've ever heard. <laughs> amazing. Oh <my> God. <laughs> and so like, I try to, but yeah, like if it's too much, like I am like, feel like I mess out where like, I want to clean my bathroom, you know, with a toothbrush <laughs> or I'm like organizing yeah, my get, like, spice rack. Yeah. And, like, yeah. <laughs> but like now that like a doctor like prescribed it and like, it's the right amount. Like I actually, like, it helps me focus. It's like, try to like a counteract so it's like two speedy people or, or whatever you know yeah, slows yeah. it down like two positives make a nick you know what i mean or, or whatever science crap but yeah like it, it does kind of help but if you don't have adhd and you take it because it's supposed to be like this cognitive enhancing drug but anytime i tried to take it when i was actually in school i was like this isn't helping me right and stuff it didn't help yeah for I, me I know so many particularly young people do mm-hmm. it like with very little awareness of even what they're, which I mean, obviously happens to people. Yeah, but especially when you're getting it from a doctor and stuff and if they're prescribed it, they're like, oh, this is okay for me to take. They're like, yeah, that's yeah. the mentality of, of a lot of people when they get drugs from the doctor. Yeah, I was about to say without, you know, going too too far down this, this <laughs> rabbit hole of, of the, the, the prescription drug industry. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, I mean, that is like quite literally how this happens, but. Yeah, but that's, yeah, so. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I haven't no, going no, back to, to shooting it. up speed. Um, besides, well, no, I take that back. I did see a bomb once, um, a couple years ago. I want to say it wasn't the first year, but like maybe the second year I moved to New York, he was shooting up in a corner. I was like, oh, all right, <laughs> pardon me. No, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone shoot up anything before. I, I, most, most times when I've seen anybody doing drugs on the street in New York, mm-hmm. it's people just smoking crack. Yeah, smoking. But yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I've seen a lot of a lot of crack smoking, weed smoking. A lot of times, like yeah, I've never really seen um, any like homeless people or, or stuff like that, like doing lines of cocaine. No. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna smoke. I, I remember once, so like I I uh, I run a lot in Central Park, mm-hmm. and um, I was you know if I'm running like a far distance, I usually go early in the morning. So there's mm-hmm. not a lot of people, and it's not too like hot and humid. Mm-hmm. And I was running once, and from just one of the many like kind of side portions of the park mm-hmm. someone blew a massive cloud of some sort of smoke that i ran through that i was like i've never smelled whatever that is in my yeah life. that is 1000 percent not weed whatever that was <laughs> and i was like concerned for a minute where i was i was like what did i just I was, like, inhale just probably crack uh, yeah and i was like i was like wow someone was i definitely just like ran past someone who was trying to do 
something crazy at yeah. you know, walking well, you could say you'd be like, yeah, I tried crack one. You know, <laughs> it was like shotgun. You know how they used to do the shotguns with weed, where like you could take a joint and the person like takes the lid end in their mouth and then they blow into the the other person's mouth. Have you ever done? A yeah, someone, uh, <laughs> someone, uh, someone did that at a music festival I was at. Before, yeah, and, and they'll just like I've blow it around that. and people will just get stoned. Yeah, that way. And That's it was with the shotgun. biggest joint I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was like massive. I didn't understand how like the guy fit the whole thing in his mouth. Like, I was like, without, like <laughs> burning his esophagus. Like I was like, how? <laughs> Oh, I've definitely, That's like, I burned my teeth before, yeah, doing that, shotgunning, yeah. Be like, I shotgun crack before. <laughs> we'll take that part out. <laughs> um, okay, so another, another one of my, and this was one of my favorite ones, too. Although this one was a very, apparently very uh, misogynistic and sexist cartoon, uh, because they only had one female in it. I know where we're going. The Smurfs. Yeah, the Smurfs. The Smurfs. Yeah, they just created this bitch for the. But why do we have a lady here? <laughs> I was about to say, did they ever explain that in the cartoon? Why there was only a Smurfette? I thought that like someone created her to like to distract the other Smurfs. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Well, because what's his name? Uh, 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 Galgam Gal 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 What's his name? Yeah. Something like that. Something Galgam. Yeah. It's not Gilgamesh. No. That's a, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's, that's a school thing. I. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I know the guy because he creates all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, They're to like laugh. be like his slaves and like to work for him, but he, um, but they have like their own will, and so they try to like fight him and stuff. Don't you hate it when you create an army and they have their own will? I'm like, god damn it! I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I, I mean, I feel like this one's pretty easy though because their huts are little mushrooms. So mushrooms, well, yeah, no, they literally lived in mushrooms, but yeah. there was, um, there was a couple episodes where um gargamel gargamel oh that? my god you got it yeah <laughs> stumbled right into that <laughs> gargamel <laughs> that's hilarious <clears throat> gargamel gave them like like these muffins or something like that and then they ate them and then they worked really really hard and then <laughs> they worked really hard and really fast and then um and then uh what was um i think it was papa smurf or someone um like that had said, um, oh, these things are bad for you. And then, but they were freaking out because they really liked them <laughs> and they wanted more of them. Huh. So that That's was like, I don't remember that one. A speed one. What was, I'll what send you, you the article. Oh no, it was speed. They're definitely like, <laughs> yeah, like cocaine. Well, probably cocaine or like, cause like I, I've never eaten um, any like uppers like that, but I guess you can, like people have eaten crystal meth before like eating cocaine you know how, like some people will sprinkle weed on their pizza like oregano <laughs> sprinkle some cocaine on a donut i don't know weird huh <laughs> yeah i didn't realize that you could in ingest something that way and it would work the same way but i guess that i makes don't know if sense. it works the same way you know like and sometimes when you like smoking weed and eating edibles it's a different type of buzz yeah that's true because so. like because well liquefied cocaine was mm -hmm. like used medicinally Oh yeah, for for Forever. kids if they had a toothache. <laughs> yeah, so I guess yeah, I guess it does something different. It like has like a like that numbing effect. So yeah, but they also used to put it in like Coca Cola. Like uh, <laughs> that's the thing, right? When when were they doing that though? Was that like eighteen hundreds? Um, like, was that no, like nineteen fifty? No, <laughs> like, no, right, the nineteen fifties. No, I think yeah. that was like the early nineteen. I want to say nineteen. When did Coca Cola come out? Like the twenties or thirties or something like that? I've totally been to that museum in like Atlanta, and I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't really drink Coke um, at all. But yeah, I guess they used to put cocaine in it because it did. It was like instead of just a caffeine, it gave people a bump. But then they noticed they're like they want to drink more of this stuff. <laughs> They want to drink a lot of it a lot of <laughs> all it all the time <laughs> right and then it makes you wonder like if the name came from <laughs> cocaine yeah <laughs> i think they probably left that part just straight out of the museum they were like well yeah no they're, they're always gonna hide the real history from things because people yeah. can't people can't yeah, handle yeah. the truth yeah dude the smurfs couldn't no <laughs> that's what happened to them they couldn't handle it no and so they had to yeah and then what was it and then smurfette did something yeah distracted I, them or something yeah because with, with her femininity <laughs> yeah with her her female smurf body that was like way too much for them to handle <laughs> so, yeah. i never noticed paid attention to the fact that there was only 
like one chick. I just knew like I like growing up, I never paid attention be like, oh, this is sexist or whatever, you know, (laughs) because also like you're a kid. I just knew that with cartoons, especially that one, I'm like, they're not even like real creatures. It's not even like a dog. I'm like, they're just made up things like you guys are really getting into a cartoon like how sexist it is. They're not even real it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. You fucking psychos. All right. Next. Um, this is another one. This one's actually kind of based off of um, like He-Man was a real person, human form, I guess you could say. Um, and I mentioned earlier, Jem. Jem. Did you ever watch it? No, that's more of a chick. Jem I didn't really watch, but I know what it is. Yeah. I'm familiar with it. I just didn't really watch it. It kind of has that like Hannah Montana. Like, I think maybe that's where they got that from where she was like, she's very quiet in her real life. And then she'd go into the bathroom. (laughs) And then all of a sudden she was dead. And she was like a rock star, right? And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she became a rock star. I wanted, I remember I I had all of her dolls and I had um, like, cause they had cassette tapes because they didn't have CDs yet. So they would get yeah. a cassette tape with the gem songs. I don't remember any of them. I was about to say, are you going to start singing one? Absolutely. You know a favorite yeah. one? Because there's a couple, excuse me, there's a couple of them in the, in the show, right? It's not just gem. There's like three other members of the band, aren't there? Yeah, I don't care about those women. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> they weren't in the bathroom with her. They didn't do whatever she was doing. They were just always the rock stars, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember. Uh, to be, I know they made a movie about her fairly recently. They did, yeah, yeah. I actually know someone who was in that movie. I didn't see it though. I, I, I'm a bad friend. I should go see it. I'm gonna I see didn't. it tonight. Yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I'm like, I didn't see it because I didn't want to ruin my childhood. Uh-huh. I mean, the spoiler childhood. I'm gonna watch it in order to spoil your childhood. Like, okay, for me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. You can hang out with my dad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now there's a couple other ones that that were just fun. I just want to see if you know. Or if you've seen them, just because like when I saw, when I said the names of them, I was like, oh my God, the California Raisins. Do you remember the California Raisins? (laughs) No, I don't know that one. (laughs) They, I used to, like, I used to collect them. They used to have like these little fucking like rubber California, like raisin toys. And they were, and they had all different styles and clothes and they had a band and. They had a band? Yeah. What? Oh my God. (laughs) California so what raisins. was the show? The show was that there was a the, bunch of raisins who had a who started a band. If I no, I don't honestly, I don't remember. I just remember <laughs> the California know. raisin. Huh? No, I like remember raisins? collecting them. Are you um, like a are you like a raisin in your cookie person? I don't mind raisins as long as it's like an oatmeal. If it's an oatmeal raisin cookie, yes. But I've never had raisins in any other type of cookies. I don't think they do that. I don't think anyone's tried that. I think that's. It sounds really yeah. Like white macadamia and raisins? No, like that's Ooh. not. I don't know how that. No. Yeah, I, I, I go. I go chocolate chip in the oatmeal cookie if I'm doing it. Yeah, I like both chocolate chip and raisins together. Yeah, why not? Yeah, do you do the raisinettes? Are you a raisinette person when you go to the movie? I, when I was little, yeah. I mean, every once in a while, I'll grab some raisins, but normally it's when they're like in a trail mix, you know, or something <laughs> along those lines. Yeah. And they're you don't seek them out individually, but if they're there, you're not gonna. Like, yeah i'm not gonna be like mm, yeah no that raisins are actually really good snacks now that you said it now i kind of want a little and they did they came in the cute little red box they came in the box <laughs> oh my god you didn't know have you never eaten raisins yeah so they oh i thought you meant i thought you meant the toys from the show <laughs> oh no i'm sure um well they, they came in like if i remember just like the regular like ca- like cardboard paper with like the plastic yeah, yeah. I, I know the red box you're talking about i thought you meant like the toys came in that box oh That's in the race oh, i was like no. they sold it in the little raisin box whoa no that would have been cool though marketing like but yeah right like their marketing team real really failed on that and you also used to be able to get them out of like toy machines where you stick like a quarter in and then like get them in one of those little egg and things. a little plastic bald egg thing yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah no i used to collect them um i don't know why but yeah i think my mom may still have some of them <laughs> for me she keeps a lot of stuff she still has my baby teeth so that's just wow like, right yeah she has a hard time letting go apparently uh, <laughs> and then the other one that i vaguely remember watching was camp candy 
I don't know that one either. The Camp Candy, Camp Candy was based off of John Candy. And he oh. was, um, and he was in charge of like this camping ground with like kids or whatever. And it was like, it was three years. I'll send you the, the link to the article. I was like, I remember watching that a little bit, but then you, you hear about like his life or, or whatever, you know, and like how much he drank and stuff. You're like, of course he did a kid show. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I was going to ask you, I was like, literally like John Candy, the actor is mm-hmm. based off of him. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, this was, I'm not, this was the eighties. I want to say like early eighties, mid eighties. Um, but yeah, because I remember watching a couple of episodes because his voice, because like he was always very funny and my dad really liked him and stuff. So yeah, can't yeah he's a really funny actor. And then he, yeah, he's because then he's in a ton of movies in like the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, some of the, some of the best ones, all of the good ones, <laughs> all of the good ones, all of the good ones. He is. I, I personally think so. All right. So now that was my list of your list. Okay. 80s cartoons. Now we get, let's talk about some 90s cartoons. And maybe let's... I may know some of them, like they had Inspector Gadget for a little bit in the 90s, right? Maybe. I thought Inspector Gadget was 80s. I thought that's what you would, I thought, I thought that was going to be an 80s one that you had for me. Yeah, was, well, it was, but I don't think he really did drugs. I mean, he was just retarded. No, he was, he was like a, he was a, uh, he was like RoboCop for kids. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. I think that, what was it? Claw, like the, the, the bad guy. He always had that ring on and always looked like it would be like a poison ring or like one of those rings that you put a little Coke in and then sniff it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I so forgot we, about that guy. <laughs> cool. Yeah, because you would always only see his hand and then the cat. And then it's like, I forgot the cat's name, but yeah. Claw, yeah, I Mr. forgot claw about the claw. Huh? Was that well, well, was that his name, right? The claw. Mr. I think it might be the claw. Yeah. Okay. I should have yeah. probably did a little bit more research on this. One. Yeah. <laughs> What's crazy about some '90s cartoons too mm-hmm. is like some of the biggest ones I wasn't even allowed to watch. Like <gasps> yeah. I, I know, and but I, I snuck and I watched some of them. But like, <laughs> even something as like as big as Rugrats. Like Rugrats is probably like that's not even an early '90s cartoon, but like mm-hmm. that is probably the most popular. I feel like 90s cartoon. Like I, I think yeah, I even know what the Rugrats... Yeah, I've watched episodes as an adult. <laughs> yeah, I was never allowed to watch Rugrats as a kid. I mean, I don't think any of the Rugrats were doing drugs, though. I think they were all babies, so... Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why am I not... Well, I think maybe they were just, like, mean. I remember the Muppet Babies, the baby Muppet cartoon. <laughs> I love reminded. Muppet Babies, mm-hmm. and I loved Tiny Toons. Tiny Toons was good too. Tiny Toons was also good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, and then when you get into stuff like, like SpongeBob, like late '90s, like SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Like all those I characters, think... I feel like are doing different things. Yeah, I also feel that the creators of SpongeBob <laughs> may have been <laughs> something to create a sponge who lives in the sea. Is that correct? Is yeah, that he's a he's a sponge. Um, but he looks like a, he looks like a hand sponge. He looks like a, like yeah. a sponge um, who lives under the sea in a pineapple and works at a fast food restaurant, hmm. flipping burgers. Um, <laughs> yeah. And they're called, rough life, called, man. it's called the Krusty Krab and he makes Krabby Patties. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never heard of a Krabby Patty? N- n- well, no, not in that sense. Um <laughs> I was about to say because that's that's a big point of the show is this is food it, that they make that the they serve people. It's like the best thing that anyone's ever tasted. So with these, that sounds like anytime for me that sounds like cannibalism almost because like they're all living under the sea <laughs> <laughs> and they're just eating each other. You know? Yeah, I don't think I don't think any of the other. I don't think any of the. They all have weird food that they consume, but I don't think any of them ever eat each other. Okay. Like I know they, okay. they 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 go like jellyfish hunting and they <sighs> like you can like milk a jellyfish for actual jelly. Oh. Yeah, they can like put it on <laughs> toast and stuff. Like that's how they get around like what like the food is. Um, that sounds more sexual than anything. Else. <laughs> These are children. <laughs> um, yeah, I <laughs> like let me milk this. I it's weird though because like SpongeBob is so like active. Like him and him and Patrick act like children. Yeah, like, the two characters act act like children. But then there's like an evil plankton. Ooh, he's like very small and he's evil, trying to steal the recipe for the Krabby Patty. That's kind of his whole. 
initial gig. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if the Krabby Patties would be considered edibles or not. Like, or maybe just is, people addicted to food, or just people addicted to food because it's it's like a hot selling item. It's like there's a whole thing about the secret recipe and ooh Walter White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's some, it's some like it's some like major cook stuff going on that, <laughs> like he has the best recipe I bet there definitely is some fan art somewhere of mm-hmm. like Spongebob and Patrick who's like his best friend <laughs> yeah. like as like Walter and Jesse oh that would be hilarious if not someone who listens to the show make it happen <laughs> yeah, if not so someone listening to this podcast please <laughs> so I can please see that in real life <laughs> all right what else do you got for me there are uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm like now i'm like now i'm gonna go watch 90s cartoons yeah no there uh one of my favorites and this is this is all this is all getting into like late 90s i was born in the early mm-hmm. 90s so like mm-hmm. this is all late 90s early 2000s actually yeah. um fairly odd parents was one of the best okay yeah. um and it's a kid who has fairy godparents and okay yeah, it's like a, it, there's two of them. It's Cosmo and Wanda. Mm-hmm. And he gets to make wishes from them. And uh, it is like a really trippy show. Like, it, like it's, it's an honestly, like, very trippy, like, experience <laughs> of a show. Just because, like, like, he's do wishing. they have fairy for, dust? That they-, <laughs> they absolutely do. They, they have wands that they, like, <laughs> that they make things appear for. And, yeah, it's like, I, I it, it's. If 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 we're talking what the, it has to be like mushrooms or acid or something because yeah. it's so colorful too like the whole show is like or maybe DMT I like DMT that one DMT that one. that's like uh, that's is like this... the it's like the chemical before you die or something right <laughs> <laughs> what is it DMT no it's a it's a very strong hallucinogenic it's a hallucinogen so, okay yeah that only lasts um, a little while do you think um, since you've seen some 80s cartoons and you've definitely seen like late 90s cartoons, do you see like, have you seen like a huge difference in how like they represent stuff like like Scooby and Shaggy, like they were quite obviously like eating edibles where, and then, you know, a lot of cartoons also had like a lot of hidden like sexual innuendos yeah. and like a lot of violence. You solve all your problems with violence as long as you're on yeah. the right side. Yeah, yeah. And, and stuff like that. So did you see like a shift in, in like how cartoons were being made from like the 80s to when you were watching them? Yeah, well, not only like does the, like the animation becomes less crude, like it becomes like smoother and it becomes like more like, almost like children friendly, mm-hmm. like, but, like just the images that you see, like even Rugrats is on like the tail end of that where yeah. like, it's just more crude. Um, so then when you get, start getting stuff like SpongeBob that like starts like smoothing out eventually too, yeah, I don't think as many cartoons that I was watching, like like late nineties, early two thousands cartoons, were even doing as much innuendo anymore. Yeah, like, that's so much more noticeable when you watch like even stuff like like Ren and Stimpy or something like you know like <laughs> Animaniacs. Yeah, you're watching Animaniacs, especially, or you're watching um, uh, Rocco's Modern Life. Mm-hmm. Um, like those shows were able to like hide it well, but I think they had to start. Like the, the the adult references, I think, become more like actual references to like either adult problems or mm-hmm. like adult pop culture. Yeah. But like, I think that's what the adult jokes turn into. Um, mm-hmm. And they're like, this is yeah, except for like the one, the one show that like doesn't hide any of the violence or any of the <laughs> like any of just like how trippy they're trying to be mm-hmm. is uh, Adventure Time. And mm-hmm. that's like even that's even after I was a kid, like that's like. That's like Gen Z grew okay. up with Adventure Time. And I started watching it in like college because everyone was like, you got to check out Adventure Time. It's <laughs> positively ridiculous. And it's great. And I, I do recommend you, you check it out so you understand how like, like they don't care at all. They're just like, no, we're going to completely go as trippy as possible. Mm-hmm. Like, I know that everyone who's ever worked on the show or written this show knows that everyone just assumed that they were high the whole time. Because, like, <laughs> I'm not they sure. like I, on a magic school bus or something like that? It's like that? way more, okay. way more. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a little kid who's best friends with a do- like a shape-shifting dog. Like, those are the two main characters. And the dog's girlfriend is like a unicorn who only speaks Korean. 
And <laughs> yeah, like it is just, it is like, <laughs> yeah, there's like an ice king and like <laughs> there's like a lollipop princess. It's just. So it's like anything that someone thinks of, they're like, we're going to put that in there. Yep. That we're doing it. There. We're doing this. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, there's Unicorn like a that only speaks Korean done. <laughs> there's like a talking cinnamon bun and stuff. Yeah. It's a talking cinnamon. Yeah, and it's it's definitely one of the trippiest, if not the most trippy cartoon I've ever watched in my life. And it's like revered. Like people like really loved it. Like I think they just did a thing on HBO Max to like do like a movie for it because like fans are so diehard for for Adventure Time. <laughs> How many seasons did this have? Was it on for a long time? I think like three or four years. I think it was like three or four seasons. Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually yeah. a decent run, right? <laughs> and it's like most of the characters like are played by like the biggest people in like voiceover like the biggest animated people it's like yeah it's like john dimaggio who does like who does bender on futurama is like mm -hmm. one of the main characters and then like um tom kenny who does spongebob is is a character or two and it's just yeah it's all these very famous people who are like let's do the trippiest cartoon that anyone's ever seen anyone's <laughs> ever seen i don't know i've i started uh, over quarantine i got into rick and morty yeah rick and morty's great yeah. and i'm like my friend's like it's an adult cartoon and i'm like that's an oxymoron yeah. <laughs> and i'm like we're adults we don't watch cartoons um but yeah i started getting into rick and morty and i was just like i love it so much there's a lot of i, I love the fact that he's just a raging alcoholic um probably I'm sure sometimes that voice actor is mm -hmm. drunk when he's recording it yeah, that doesn't, that wouldn't, like, some of the sounds, yeah, that he makes, um, definitely, I, I forgot what, like, season or episode it was, where they didn't even have a script, that they just went, like, <laughs> improv. Yeah, they improvised a whole episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've the... heard crazy stories about just, yeah, because it's, it's one guy who does both of them, it's, it's Justin Roiland, and he. Yeah, oh, and, and he, then there's, is wait. it Dan Hart? Dan Harmon is one of the creators of it. Yeah. 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 Media yeah. Community and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Community was actually another quarantine thing that I watched. I'm like, it's actually not, it's actually really funny. <laughs> I love Community. Yeah. I love that show. I watched the whole thing because I had it like, you know, especially in comedy, people were like, I don't like it. And then I watch it. I'm like, it's actually pretty funny. That's why I never listen to people when they say, don't watch something or they give it a bad review like I try not to read reviews or if people are like talking about like a specific movie like I'll like I'll black out or like take out mute those words on Twitter and stuff until I see it for myself because it, even if you like hear something that's crappy and then you watch it because you wanted to see it anyway you still have that in the back of your head that like oh this may be crappy so like I like to try to watch things like with a virgin mind <laughs> <laughs> just complete yeah be like i want to make my own decisions if i like it or if i hate it yeah so community was one of those things i'm like i knew i should have listened to that mother <laughs> i love that show that's a that's a great show yeah they're very funny try it abit in the morning yeah no it's great okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right well um do you have any other cartoons you may want to talk about Adventure Time, like there's nowhere up, like there's nowhere no up nowhere up from Adventure. There's nowhere <laughs> above Adventure Time. That's kind of the problem. Is <laughs> like yeah, for anyone now who I listens, do. anyone who listens oh. to this podcast who hasn't seen it, mm -hmm. gotta watch it. Like it's just it's it's the pinnacle of of oh my god, that's the trippiest cartoon I've ever seen. And it's for children. Um, and yeah, it was meant to be for children. Because <laughs> yeah. they did have like different age groups. What age was it for? Like younger children, like toddlers, or like you like know, teenagers. like teenagers like teenagers okay so. it was like a cartoon network thing like cartoon network did like courage the cowardly dog Were you, did you ever see that too mm -mm. that's another like late 90s early to that that that's another car that cartoon was horrifying <laughs> like, <laughs> I, guess, I guess i'll put that one on the list too is is that 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 was like what what drug could someone be doing to be terrified all the time because <laughs> pcp pcp because, yeah, <laughs> the dog is named courage and he's always terrified but there's the worst things imaginable are always happening to him. Like he's constantly. Oh, well, he's just, he's it's the secret. He's just bringing it into his life because he keeps thinking about it. He needs to think happier thoughts and then happier things will happen to him. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to stop being addicted to PCP. <laughs> yeah. Can you get addicted to PCP? I don't know if you can I actually be addicted. I don't know. I don't, like you can't get addicted to acid. I know I've tried. It doesn't work. Um but you'll keep trying. I will keep trying. <laughs> You're a doer. <laughs> I will be addicted to acid sooner or later. No, God, my brain would be fried. 
uh, more so than it already is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think PCP is addicting, which that's a nice thing. It's good that when drugs aren't addicting, I think. No, but I, I mean, that's the thing too that, that's the whole thing about weed too, is it's, mm -hmm. it's not addictive, but I know people who are convinced that they- Oh, that they, they are addicted. That they, that they have an addiction to it, that they're like, you know, I've been sober from it because I'm addicted to it. But I obviously never want to question anyone's experience. Like, I don't want to like, like yeah. <laughs> down on that. But I, I, it, it makes me wonder then where it's like, am I wrong about like a, a ton of things that I thought I, <laughs> yeah. no. well, I don't know. And I, I don't, you know, I'm not a, a doctor of addiction. So I don't, I don't Into know. That, well, from my personal experience, um, I know that, that people, um, it's not like I, I'm not addicted. Like I could not smoke for a couple of days and be fine but like if, if I noticed too but it's also kind of like the frame of mind where it's like someone who normally smokes you know every day all of a sudden doesn't have weed and they're not going to get it for a while all of a sudden they'll like they'll think that they're going to go through withdrawals and blah you know and then they and th there are certain times that, like if I don't smoke for a while um like it may be hard for me to go to sleep right away because normally I'll smoke a bowl you know before I go to sleep or like eat half an edible because it it's like my ambient or you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it helps me sleep and stuff like that and I prefer weed um over something like taking Xanax or you know anxiety or like Valium you know type well that's stuff. the thing too. like I know like yeah it, like when you're smoking all the time too and then you even you just take like a small break sometimes yeah you'll get like super anxious or something because mm -hmm. it's like yeah, yeah or like a headache yeah there's been times that I haven't smoked for a while like chemical imbalance that just happened in your body where it's like mm -hmm. you're used to having a certain amount of THC in your body and now and you then, don't for a second so like, yeah yeah it takes it, back to adjust I know what you're talking about yeah yeah but to say that it's not like a chemical dependency like let's say like cocaine or um like yeah, heroin well, like, yeah, well, well, heroin is like, and especially with certain people, like they have to continue taking it or they could die. You know, that's where it's like methadone and that type of stuff comes in cocaine and like even alcohol, like you go through really bad withdrawals, especially if you're using constantly. Yeah, if you're smoking every day, all day, and then you stop. Yeah, you're going to have like addiction. Something's going to happen to you. Yeah. Withdrawals. But like when it's, it's more of like a habit kind of thing, you know, but like from the chemical aspect, no, it's not like an addictive thing like nicotine or Coke or heroin, but there is acid, that, that can't happen with acid. Like you, you're not going to no. have like a, Oh, like I don't feel good anymore. Cause like I haven't tripped in a while. No, yeah. I've been trying and be like, I'm no, trying. I <laughs> with mushrooms too. I'm like, am I going to, do I want to do mushrooms? No. Should I do mushrooms? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're cocaine. It's like, if you're already thinking about it, you're already dialing the number, even though you're saying no kind of thing. <laughs> Be like, I'm not doing it. What's this number again? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for coming on and talking about cartoons and how high they are with me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me. This was fun. <laughs> Super fun. Uh, where can people find you on social media um on uh on twitter i'm uh at vinman17 um at on instagram i'm the vincent martella and yeah you can see you know the sketch comedy that i used to do at theaters but now i do online um <laughs> you can see that or any of the uh cartoons that i work on or any of uh, the films uh, tv shows i work on you know you guys can check out whatever i have coming up on any of those social medias on social medias yeah on the social medias on the medias that are social <laughs> kind of not really <laughs> yeah. um you can obviously find this wonderful show at how to do drugs um on twitter how to do drugs pod on instagram don't forget the patreon how to do drug or patreon.com slash how to do drugs pod me the alia janine on twitter and alia janine on instagram all right thanks bye